Hi guys, <laughs> welcome to my channel. I'm Angela. Happy Friday, fam bam. Happy Friday or whatever day it is where you are. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing day today. I wanted to come very quickly, guys, and give you a word uh, that God has been placing on my heart and wanted me to deliver. As always, I tell you to please take the word back to God in prayer for more confirmation and more revelation on the word. Any word that I give you or any other servant of God gives you, make sure that you're taking these words back to God and for confirmation, okay, so that God can speak to you. As always, I'm going to continue to say, state it on this channel. I encourage it and God desires it to have your own relationship with God, okay? That's the most important thing. You hear from God just like I do. You just have to turn off all the noise and the distractions so that you can hear his voice and tune in to what he's saying, okay? God desires that intimate relationship with you. He desires for you to develop your own relationship, okay? That way what I'm telling you or any other servant of God is telling you, it is a confirmation of what God has already spoke to you about, okay? So make sure that you're taking um, the word back to God in prayer. Also, not every word is for everyone. We're all in different seasons. So if you're spending that quiet time with God by yourself in your own quiet time, your own quiet place, you know, and you have that relationship developed, you know what season you're in. So I just want to continue to state how important that, that is, okay? Guys, God wanted me to speak about today. If you see me looking down, I'm just looking at my notes. He wanted me really to speak about, guys, it's actually two thing, two parts to this. The first part is God is saying many of you are, you need to rest. You need to rest in him. Um, he has moved many of you to different states. He's asked many of you to start new endeavors. Um, whether that's job wise, whether that's uh, moving to a different state, a different country. Um, and also, you know, whether starting ministry, God is saying that many of you are so, he's, he's asked you to do these things, but you're, you're not finding any rest. You're not finding any rest in what he's asking of you because you're trying to figure out, you know, why God, you know, when you get to that state or that country, what is the next step or you're trying to, to, to figure it out yourself. You're trying to move in your own way instead of going with God's flow, instead of going, you know, allowing God to do it divinely. God is saying to that you're, you know, that you're focusing on more on what you're going to do than allowing him. If he asked you, he's going to ask you to do something new, ministry, uh, entrepreneurship, a new job, um, moving, you have to allow God to direct your steps. He's going to order your steps, but you're trying to control it. You're trying to control what happens next. You're trying to take, make steps and do things in your own way. If he's asked you to do something, allow God to guide you. Allow God to lead you, you know, and direct and order your steps because you don't want to go out of alignment of what God has for you. And remember, when you go into these new things, it's connected to somebody else. Most of the time, it's connected to somebody else. Your obedience is connected to somebody else for you to connect to somebody else, for you to bless somebody else. So it's, it's very important that you go with the flow and allow God to guide and to lead you so that you won't make a step too early or make a step back, to, uh, make a step too late, but allow God to direct your steps, okay? Allow God to order your steps. He's in the midst of all things. And he's saying that some of you are trying to control the situation and trying to, to walk out and do your own thing, but wait upon God, wait upon his instructions and just rest, rest in him, rest in him. Okay. 
he was stating that, you know, this is also a season of isolation. Uh, that's the other part of a season of isolation. And when you got to this new place, um, there's a period of isolation that God has you in and you're lonely, whether that's in a different state, uh, a different country, God has put you in a position where you're isolated right now. And that's so he can develop character in you. That's so that he can work on you from the inside out. He's preparing you to walk into that purpose and to walk into those new things. But God is, is taking this time to prepare you. He's trying to get you ready for what he has for you, okay? And what he needs you to do. Because again, you're, you're, you're going there or you're starting this because it is connected you're blessing someone else you're you know you're connecting to a person that you can help or they can help you but you have to allow god to guide and to lead you and to that's why it's so important and i stress to have that relationship with god so that you can hear from him. If you have that intimate relationship with him, not just a relationship, but an intimate relationship, and you're actually spending time with God, you're allowing um, him to speak to you so that you can hear. Ask God for discernment, for wisdom, and that he gives you clarity so you can understand what he's requiring of you, okay? But God was, state, was really talking about um, some of you, this is a season of isolation. He's preparing you for that thing. <laughs> He's preparing you for it. Okay. And, uh, some of you are, are lonely, you know, in this isolation, you're lonely. You're lonely, which is understandable. You may go somewhere. You don't know anybody. You may go somewhere, uh, in an uncomfortable and unfamiliar place. But God is saying to adapt. You know, he will help you adapt. He will help you, you know, to transition to this new place, to this new thing. But, you know, you have to remember too, when God calls you places, you're letting go of the old. And you're that could be things or that can be people. And it's most of the time when you're in a, tra a season of transition, you're letting people go. You're having to let people go. You're having to release the old so God can bring in the new. And sometimes in these seasons of isolation where he's preparing you, he's pruning you, there won't always be somebody there. There won't be always somebody to encourage you. There won't be somebody to always walk with you. Sometimes in this walk, you know, we have to encourage ourselves. Some seasons we have to encourage ourselves. Some seasons we have to walk alone. And on this journey, I've said it before, it can be a lonely journey because most of the time you are walking alone. Yes, God loves community. Yes, God loves fellowship. But there's times, most, some of the times, and I would say, <laughs> You know, God had, I would say some of the times, God does have us, have us walk alone. And we have to learn to encourage ourselves. And we have to learn to speak life, speak life into our situations and to ourselves. Because we're not going to always have somebody there to encourage, uh, to encourage us. Sometimes we have to encourage ourselves and God is there to encourage us, to love us, to strengthen us during those times. And, you know, it it, it is, it is. It can be a lonely walk at sometimes. So just know that you're in these different places and God spoke a lot about isolation and about the season where he has moved. I, I You know, I've told you in many rhema words, God is migrating his people to different countries, to different cities, to your own city, but moving you maybe across the, across the way uh, on, a, on the other side of that city, on uh, the other side of that, you know, your same state, but God is migrating his people. Uh, I spoke about that a lot. He say for purpose and for protection. And 
in this time, you know, you have to just let God be God and do his thing because God is wanting to uh, do a new thing, you know, whether that's bringing you there to, to, to bless you uh, or bringing you there you know, for you to bless somebody else. But remember, it's never about us. At the end of, a, of the day, it's about God. And I know that sometimes in transitioning and in trying to adapt to this transition can be hard. I, I know it can, you know, it can be hard uh, at times. So, you know, at this time, you just have to, you know, you just have to really... Uh, ask God to help you persevere. He's our strength when we're weak. He's our strength when we're weary. And uh, he takes all of our burdens, you know, and he places it on his shoulders. So allow God to be God and to guide and lead you because it's never about us. It's always about God. It's about God's, you know, the assignment upon our life and what God has called us here to do. So it's always going to be about him. It's really at the end of the day, it's never about us. It's about God. So he really wanted me to speak about that today. He spoke a lot about just finding your peace in him, finding peace in him, rest in him. And don't try to control anything. Don't try to move before God. Don't try to figure out what's the next step. Don't try to figure out, allow God. He'll show you at His at the right time, his divine timing. He'll show you when to move to the next step. He'll show you what to do next. But we have to be quiet and remove the distractions so that we can hear, okay? So know that God is, he's working. He just needs you to find peace in him and to rest in him, okay? He did lead me to two scriptures uh, that I want to read to you guys. The first one is uh, Numbers 6, uh, 624, and I'm reading from the NLT, okay? It says, may the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. You know, God gives us peace that surpasses all understanding. God give us the peace that the world cannot give. And that's the peace that God wants to give you. Um, the next one is Matthew eleven twenty eight, And that one reads, Then Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. God will give you rest. He wants to give you rest. He wants you to find your peace in him. Not in things, not in distractions, but in him. Take it to God. You know, if you're in a place that and you're lonely or you're, you know, and you're in isolation, ask God to give you strength, to give you peace, help you, help you to rest in him. But don't go before God, okay? <laughs> don't go before God. I know sometimes it can be hard. It can be difficult. But allow God to be God, okay? And just walk in that flow. Walk in the flow of God. Allow God to order your steps, all right? So guys, that is the word today. I just wanted to come and give you this word. He's really been talking about it in my quiet time. I hope it encourages you guys and just know that God is there. He never leave us nor forsake us and he gives us peace that this world cannot give. So allow God to give you that peace, okay? Allow him to give you that peace. So guys, that is the word today. You know what I'm going to say. <laughs> keep shining. Keep being the light that you are because you are absolutely, you are the light. Keep loving and being kind to one another, guys, and keep showing compassion, okay? Keep showing compassion to each other. Do not conform to this world or the agendas of it, okay? It has many agendas. Don't conform to it and allow them, don't allow them to divide us, but let's continue to walk in unity, all right? Keep loving and being kind. And I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing Mother's Day. Uh, you know, I hope you have a great Mother's Day and 
you know, if your mother has transitioned already, uh, you're still blessed because you still got the opportunity, uh, you know, to have a mom and to be in the presence of your mom. You were still blessed, okay? So I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing Mother's Day, all right? An amazing weekend to everyone, all right? So guys, know God loves you unconditionally. I love you. And until next time, God willing, I will see you guys next time, okay? And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.